Well, hey girl, if you have been looking for a tutorial on how to take an old t-shirt and make it into a cute little halter top like I have done here, then you are so in the right place because in today's video, I'm actually gonna teach you how to take an old t-shirt and make it into a cute halter top using some scissors, an eyeliner pencil, and your old t-shirt. So grab your tools and let's get going. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super pumped that you are here today. My name is Lauren Carone and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't. Now my hope today is that you will consider subscribing and of course hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every second Wednesday and every fourth Wednesday of the month. And today I am teaching you how to take an old t-shirt and you know, the ones that you need to throw away but you can't because they're super worn in and comfortable, much like my Kelly Kapowski tee. Yes, I'm teaching you girl how to take this top and turn it into a halter top. And that's what we're gonna do today. I actually got really bored one night and I was like, I either need to do something with these old t-shirts or throw them away. And of course I found an amazing little tutorial on YouTube and I made my own halter top. And so of course I shared it on Instagram and everyone was like, let's see a video. So here we are. So today I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's super easy, it's super quick. And as I mentioned, you only need an eyeliner pencil. That's all I had out here a pair of scissors and your old t-shirt. So let's go ahead and jump into the footage of me teaching you how to make this cute halter top. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is lay your shirt flat out, and then you're just gonna take your pencil and draw a line from the edge of the sleeve all the way up to the collar. Now make sure you mark your collar um, right where the seam is. You know how you have that big thick piece for your collar? Make sure that your line does not cut into that collar. You don't wanna cut into the collar at all. That'll completely ruin your shirt. So if you have a V-neck or however you're doing it, my other shirt that you'll see here in a bit is a V-neck. I just pulled that line straight up to the collar. I also would like to say that I didn't even think about the fact that I was using a white shirt and doing this on my white desk, so I apologize. <laughs> The next thing you do once you make your lines is get out your handy dandy scissors and you're just gonna cut from the lines that you made all the way up, again, avoiding the collar. Do not cut the neck of your shirt. It will completely ruin it. And that will be your second step. So step three is going to be actually cropping your t-shirt. So what I did for this one, because you can see where the print is, I just literally cut all the way underneath to where that print stops. If you have a shirt that doesn't have as much design, you can totally cut, cut it up higher so that you have a little bit more of a crop top. Um, but this will kind of help the shirt just, it kind of rides up a little bit just because you guys know if you've ever cut a t-shirt or shorts or anything like that, the fabric kind of rolls at the end. So don't cut it too short, but you can also crop it as much as you'd like. And then you can totally just clean up the edges. You can do this at the end or you can totally do it as you go. I just was doing it as I went, so I would hopefully not forget a step. And then step number four is going to be cutting the center of your shirt from the back. This time you will actually go ahead and cut into the collar. This is the only time that it's okay. The shirt will completely open at that point and that's what it should look like. Step number five is going to be cutting around that collar. Again, don't cut the collar, just cut that fabric. It will completely fold over the shirt and it is normal. That's what it's supposed to look like. And the last and final step here is going to be cutting off the excess fabric. So what I do is just bend it back as you can see, and then I just cut straight across on both sides. clean up any rough edges and cut off any excess fabric and that is your halter top so what you do is use the neck of which is your collar that's going to tie around your neck and then those long pieces of fabric that you see right here are what is going to tie into the back 
Okay, so the part I kind of left off on my original tee that you just saw me cut is that this was the collar originally on this one. And so you can see like this would be the back of the shirt. You wanna stop cutting before you get to the end of the collar and leave a little bit of fabric here. And I didn't do that and it's okay. My shirt still works just fine, but I don't have as much room to tie it and have a lot of neck room. So if you need that extra neck room, that will really help you. And then you just still cut it out the same way all the other extra material. So hopefully that helps. straps because mine are just a little short so I just kind of like double knotted them back here but normally you want to have a lot more length so that you can do a little bow tie back there I just was cutting and realized at the end when I was tying it that I had forgotten a little bit of a step so making sure to mention that and I hope this video was super fun for you if you loved it give it a thumbs up if you hated it give it a thumbs down because it still helps me out anyway and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos and of course I will see you in my next video hashtag reform tomboy family I'll see you next time Thank you.